Lexeme, a sequence of input character that comprises a single token is called as a lexeme. That we'll see what is a lexeme, don't worry. Uh, for example, here we have total is equal to 2, they are lexemes. And when I'm saying token, these are the classes of similar lexemes. Tokens are classes of similar lexemes, such as identifiers, keywords, constants. These are the tokens. Okay. And there's something called as a pattern. It is a rule which describes a token. For example, pattern for identifies a letter is followed by letter or a digit. Okay, just me just give you what is a pattern. Assuming that you want to give a variable, a variable declaration. In any language, like if you have, let us suppose we are discussing about the C language. Now, a variable name, if you have a variable like integer A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. Now, this is a valid variable name. But if you write integer 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, it is not a valid variable name. So valid variable name can start from a letter. It can be any combination of a letter. And then after getting first letter, it can have any combination of letter or digits. For example, even if we have integer a 1, 2, b, c, 3. Now this, it's, this is a valid letter. So there's a pattern inside related to how we are uh, describing the name of this identifier or describing the need of, um, name of this variable. We can say the name of the variable can start with the letter the name of the variable can start with the letter and after that it can be any combination of a letter or a digit but it cannot have white spaces etc so we can identify what is uh, that specific uh, you know uh, with that specific pattern so we can say uh, so this is how we can say that uh, with, a, with an identifier with the variable there is some kind of pattern which is associated with it. See don't worry these are all the basic definitions we will see all these definitions in the later point of program. Right now we are just skipping uh, the you know we are just uh, reading out the theory part in these uh, initial video lectures. Um, you may find that these uh, th this you are not understanding this theory part but still trust me you will uh, get this everything by the end of this entire journey of uh, compiler design process compiler design subject so we are going to cover everything thoroughly don't worry just uh, all the details which is written in these uh, slides in these uh, things just remember them that uh, write them on a notebook make short notes we are going to discuss about them in later point of time okay so here you can see uh, th the question find the number of tokens in the following program this, this is the first program we are have to identify how many numbers of tokens which are present in this program now in this program the main function main is a token this is number one then this opening bracket is a second token this closing bracket is a third token this opening bracket is the fourth token this entire printf statement is the fifth token this uh, opening bracket is the sixth token this entire string is one token then this closing bracket is one token this semicolon is another token and when we discuss about tokens then we are going to ignore all these comments and this closing bracket is another token so there are 10 tokens in this program if you check the second program here this while it's it is a first token this token opening bracket is second token this variable i is third token this uh, greater than sign is fourth token this zero is fifth token this closing bracket is sixth token then we have this opening bracket as seventh token we have this printf statement as eighth token then we have this opening bracket as ninth token then we have this i variable as 10th token then we have closing bracket as 11th token we have this uh, uh, semicolon as 12th token and then we have i uh, is 13th token and this entire plus plus is one single operator so it is 14th to 14th token then we have this closing uh, the semicolon 15th token and there we have this one so this is 16th to token so in this entire program there are 16 tokens remember the function names like in sometimes we have a function like this fun this function name itself is creating one single token okay and this opening and closing bracket they are creating two different tokens and this semicolon creating third token and the entire string like for example if we have in inverted commas we have himanshu this entire string itself is one single token so we'll see some examples of tokens in the next video but just identify in this program we have 10 tokens and in this program we have 16 tokens Okay, now let us look at the second next video. What are uh, some more examples of tokens and lexemes?